Hi guys! Welcome back to some more Learn to Draw Weekly. Let's get into it, yeah? Uh, first, I'm just going to show you the one sketch that's in here. It's of the Lincoln Memorial with the seat empty. <laughs> it was an interesting, weird watercolor thing that I thought of that I didn't like. So that turned out badly. I dislike it immensely. Uh, then we're going to go into this. I like a couple of them that I did in this book. Uh, that's horrifying every time. Um, I don't know if you saw the girl, but you definitely didn't see these. This is my attempt at making a granite um, texture. And this is my first attempt at making a symmetrical pattern. Uh, as you can see, it didn't turn out <laughs> the way I wanted it. This was my first attempt at a tree. And this was my second. What do you guys think? Um, I really like the way this turned out. I actually joined something called Skillshare. You guys have probably seen it all around the internet now. A lot of YouTubers are doing a promotion for it. I'm not, because I don't have enough subscribers for them to actually approach me and go, Hey, want to do a promotion for us? But, um, I'm trying it right now. And the first couple of classes I took, I didn't like. But this one was more of like a watercolor paint with me type thing. And, uh... It turned out alright. Hers is completely, looks completely different. It's not a class you follow. It's like she paints and then kind of teaches you what she's doing or tells you what she's doing and then I kind of just, it happened. I made a tree that I'm proud of. <laughs> um, and that's it in this book. I love watercolors. I'm just not good at them. I really am liking this, this sketchbook in particular. I haven't worked in the other one enough to like it. Um, so this sketchbook actually finished. I started working in this one now. Um, so we'll go to that one next, but this is going to be a full sketchbook tour. If you guys haven't seen any of my previous on New Draw Weeklies, I'm going to have a sketchbook tour of this whole sketchbook coming up next video. <laughs> Alrighty. So where did we leave off? Um, I don't remember where we left off, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys saw the elf with the headphones and the little Japanese girls, which is what I do with my life. Where was I, do you guys know? These are proportional. I don't know if you can see them because I did them in non-photo blue, but these are per, um, perspective blocks. I've been doing a couple of those, but I don't do that many of them. I'm not good with scenes. I'm more better with people and objects and humans. Uh, so these are all humans. This is actually a character page for my character, Naname. Um, I'm gonna probably have a synopsis out on my channel eventually from this book, which is all written. It's called uh, Naname's Gift. It's all in here. So um, she's the character from this book. And uh, I was trying to draw her in all different ways while keeping her same face shape. This one didn't turn out all that well. Uh, this is Mercy from Overwatch, you guys have seen. I should line her because she actually looks pretty good. She looks exactly like Mercy. I was really proud of that. Um, this is a Night Elf with headphones on. I don't know why I love that concept. I really just want to give my Night Elf headphones. <laughs> uh, this was me in bed the other night. And I just loved the way her leg is, is like weird. I don't like it. I have to redraw the leg. But I like everything else. Her hands aren't even drawn. It's just like a sketchy thing. This is my weird attempt at like a Bratz doll. If you've ever seen them, they're horrifying. I think she kind of turned out like a Bratz doll, to be honest with you. Horrifying. Um, this is all character pages. This is from a manga. If you guys know what manga this is from, let me know. Because I can't remember for the life of me. Um, hand drawing, hand drawing, hand drawing, hand drawing. This is my attempt at drawing my character, K. Uh, he did not turn out like I wanted him. <laughs> he is not going to look like that in the end. <laughs> uh, surprised. Hand. It's just kind of like a scribble doodle thing. This was my second attempt at a portrait, and I hate it. <laughs> I, I drew one good portrait, and then that's it. Her lips are too small. Other than that, her eyes are different shapes. I don't know, it could be much better. This is my second attempt at a portrait. Oh my god, I love that, right? Um, this was also a Skillshare class. I didn't like the class. I personally, I hated the class. It didn't teach me that much. But I worked on portraits with it, and I ended up turning out one that was good. So this is a girl, if you Google uh, portrait, portrait art, I think. 
Uh, this is from a picture. A picture for photo for um, portrait art. I really like the way it turned out. <laughs> um, this is again more Name. The, her signature is two streaks of hair in front of her ears. That's kind of what I was getting at and then trying to do different ones. And then that one is turned out to look like an old lady even though it was just her angry face. Um, these are all just weird types of flower dresses I was thinking about. I really want to draw a fairy, but I'm not sure what kind of clothes to give her, like what kind of wings. Uh, that's a perspective thing. It actually helps me a lot. Just a pose without a face. Uh, my, this is another attempt at a portrait that I didn't even finish because I didn't like it. And then this is the last one. These are the first trees I tried to do before I painted that one. And uh, this one turned, it's okay. It's alright. This one's horrible. It's the first one I did. Alright, so there's gonna be a sketchbook tour of that coming up. Let's grab this one here. And click my trusty Kur Kurotoga out of there. And um, let's see, where was I? So this, all this stuff here was in one of my previous Learning to Draw weeklies. Like the eyes and um, the Christmas tree and stuff. These were all in previous Learning to Draw weeklies. And then we're starting from here. It's because I drew a little bit in this book and then stopped. So this is another attempt at a tree that turned out horribly wrong. You can actually see this one through it. This is another attempt at a tree. And then down here is different mushrooms with an eye to represent perspective. It's really hard to see. But uh, that's what I was thinking. And then these are pretty cool. These are done in Sakura brush pen. Um, let me see if I have it here. I have a lot of microns. Uh, it's this one. It was done with this pen, this Sakura brush pen. I've been drawing with this a lot lately because at first I didn't like it. And I really wanted to try drawing with it. So I tried drawing her hair with it. I did the rest in microns. And then I drew her hair and I think it turned out pretty well. I don't really like... She's supposed to look the same girl from different facing view. I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the way that one turned out. Um, this one is all camping symbols and then hands. And then a little face there. And this is my favorite character. If you guys don't know, I play a lot of video games <laughs> for my other channel. And um, Hatsune Miku Future Tone just came out. Len Kagamin is my favorite Vocaloid, period. So I drew him. I, I really like the way he turned out. I don't know if you can see well with the, the brush pen in the back. But I really, really like the way he turned out. He, <laughs> he looks like Len. Len's my favorite Vocaloid, so I draw him a lot. Uh, more practice on trees, but this time with the Sakura brush pen to try a silhouette. And this one turned out really well. I'm really proud of this one. And then that one turned out pretty well too. Alright, you know. Uh, this is a little vampire girl. My dad saw this over my shoulder and he said, that's terrible. <laughs> so that's my parents. Uh, this is a chibi ver I tried to draw a character and then a chibi character of that. And this is going to bother me. <laughs> She didn't have, she just had a cape with like... <laughs> okay, so I drew the back of the cape. But um, I, try, I wanted to draw a character and then a chibi version of that character and I think I achieved that. It was just a fun little challenge I wanted to do. Um, this is an attempt at Hatsune Miku that went completely awry. Her body is very messed up. Her face looks alright, but her body is very messed up. Her, her hand is actually proportional though. Good job, me. I'm really proud of that hand. Um, and then this girl, I'm gonna have to lift up the page. Her wrists and her, this part isn't separated in her anatomy, so she's not well, but she's alright. <laughs> she looks like a person, which is good. This masterpiece, okay, I'm, I'm in love with this piece. I posted this on Twitter if you guys want to go see. This is going on a shirt. <laughs> um, if you guys want to support me, I have a Redbubble link in the, in the description. This is, I'm going to put this on a shirt. If you like this, if, if you like this, go find my Redbubble shop. <laughs> Please. Um, I want to I wanna put this on a shirt actually for me <laughs> because I love that. I really, I, I, I finally did something cool. If you guys, I think I posted it on Twitter. I said, help, I did something cool. Quick, what do I do? Because <laughs> it's been a very long time since I did something cool in my opinion. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, it, it was just done with, with the brush pen. Like, I, I did it with the brush pen, and then I took a white, um, Signo, 
what is it called? I don't know what it's called. It's out of my reach. It's a it's a Signo white gel pen, but it's not a gel pen. And I went over it and made little designs and stuff, and I really like it. Okay, enough about enough about that. Um, this is Splatoon fan art. If you guys didn't see tonight, actually Thursday night, the day I'm recording this, uh, Splatoon 2 was announced along with the Nintendo Switch. So this is a um, little inkling. I love Splatoon. I've played hours and hours of the first Splatoon. And, uh, Splatoon 2 got announced, so I drew myself as an inkling. I, in the game, I used to have a bandana over my face, so. Splatoon 2, and then just an ink splat. And that's it. That's, uh, that was my week this week. I'm so glad you, you guys were here to join me. Tune in for my next video, which is going to be a sketchbook tour from that previous sketchbook, if you guys have missed any of my previous Learn to Draw weeklies. And um, I'm also going to have a digital, I'm having a problem with my Cintiq right now. And six days ago, I contacted Wacom, I called them, and they said, okay, take a video of your problem and send it as an email. So I did, and that was six days ago, I, I sent it to them on the day of the phone call. And they haven't gotten back to me, so tomorrow I'm going to have to call them. I really wanted to do, I've been working in Fire Alpaca, and I've really wanted to record me working in Fire Alpaca, but I can't do that when the top half of my Cintiq 22 HD is not working. The pressure sensitivity doesn't work on the top, like at all. I can't ta I can't close anything or with the pen, I have the pen right here actually. And th there's nothing wrong with the pen, it's tracking the pen, but every anytime I tap or try to put any pressure on something to make it do something, it doesn't work. So like if I tap on file to bring the file menu down, it doesn't work. If I try to change the brushes in Photoshop or file or packet, it doesn't work. Um, so it's just the top left corner of my Cintiq that's not working and I'm really disappointed with that. So I'm going to cut the digitals, the digital learning to draw weekly part from now on until my Cintiq gets fixed. Um, it should be for like another week or so and then the digital part will come back. So I will see you guys next week for my learning to draw weekly. Remember, I have another channel where I play Overwatch and stuff. I have over 300 videos on that channel if you want to go check that out. The link's in the description below. I also have a Twitter. Some of the cool stuff that I do gets posted on my Twitter. And uh, the link's in the description below for that. I also post when I'm excited about something. I uh, live tweeted for the Nintendo conference that happened. And I'm really excited. So I will see you guys next week. And thank you guys so much for watching and all of your support. Everybody that comes back here and all the views I get. I'm, I'm really happy I get any views. <laughs> I'm really glad everybody's here. Thank you guys so much. I don't say that enough. Really thank you.